Earthpen. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn how to solve area and perimeter of a triangle. Whenever we hear the word triangle, the first thing that comes in our mind is this figure, or some things that has a triangular shape like partly hat, traffic signs, chips, and many more. But what is triangle in the world of mathematics? So triangle is a shape that has three sides and three angles. Also, the three angles of the triangle will always be equal to 180 degrees. There are also different types of triangle, but I won't discuss it here because I already discussed it in our previous video. So let's just skip that part and just focus in solving the perimeter and area of a triangle. By the way, even though there are different types of triangle, the formula in finding the perimeter and area of triangle can be applied to any kind of triangle. So before we proceed in solving the perimeter and area of triangle, let's identify first some important parts of a triangle because we need it in solving the perimeter and area. So basically, a triangle has a base and a height. Remember, this is not the only part of a triangle but let's just focus it here because these are all the things we need to solve for the perimeter and area of a triangle. Going back to the topic, this is the base of a triangle. The base is always considered as the bottom of the triangle and this is the height of the triangle. Height is always straight up and down and not slanted. Now that we already identified the important parts of a triangle, we are now ready to solve for the perimeter and area of a triangle. So to solve for the perimeter, we just need to add all the sides of the triangle. If you have a triangle with a length of A, B, and C, then the perimeter would be A plus B plus C. Because as what the definition of perimeter states, it is just the length around the shape. Let's take a look at this example to further understand the perimeter of a triangle. Suppose you have a triangle and the length of the two sides are 12 cm and the base is 8 cm. The question is, what is the perimeter of the triangle? As what we have mentioned earlier, the perimeter of a triangle is just the sum of all sides. So 12 plus 12 plus 8 is equal to 32. Therefore, the perimeter of this triangle is 32 cm. Let's have another example. Neil draws a house with a triangular roof. The size of the roof measures 5 inches, 4 inches, and 3 inches. Find the perimeter of the roof. I will give you 20 seconds to answer this. Time starts now. Now we already know that to get the perimeter of a triangle, we just need to add all the sides of the triangle. So basically in this problem, we just need to add 5 inches, 4 inches, and 3 inches. So the sum of the 3 sides is 12. Therefore, the perimeter of the triangle roof is 12 inches. And so that's how we solve perimeter of a triangle. Now let's proceed on finding the area of a triangle. To solve for the area of a triangle, we just need to multiply the base and the height and then divide it by 2 or we can also write it as 1 half base times height. So this is the reason why I introduced earlier the parts of the triangle. So if you have a right triangle that has a height of 12 cm and a base of 10 cm, the area of the triangle would be 1 half times the base, which is 10 cm, times the height, which is 12 cm. Therefore, the area of the triangle is 60 cm squared. Now, what if you have a triangle that looks like this? What will be the area of the triangle? We can use the formula 1 half base times height in finding the area of any triangle. So for this problem, 
the height of the triangle is 10 centimeters. But for the base, we need to add the left base and the right base because the base of the whole triangle is its entire base length, which is 5 centimeters plus 6 centimeters. Therefore, the base is 11 centimeters. So this triangle has an area of 55 centimeters squared. Let's have another example. A while ago, Neil draws a house with rectangular roof. The roof has a base of 3 inches and a height of 4 inches. So what is the area of that roof that Neil draws? I will give you 20 seconds to answer this. Time starts now. So it is stated in the problem that the base of the roof is 3 inches and the height is 4 inches. Therefore, applying the formula in finding the area of the triangle, which is 1 half base times the height, the area of the triangular roof that Neil draws is 6 inches squared. Because 1 half times t times 4 is 6, and inches times inches is inches squared. So that's how we solve for the perimeter and area of a triangle. It is easy, right? But before I end this video, let me summarize first the formulas we used for today's topic so that you won't forget it. In solving the perimeter of the triangle, we just need to add all the sides of the triangle. And in finding the area of the triangle, we just need to multiply the base and the height and then divide it by 2. Or we can also write it as 1 half base times height. Now, I know some of you are curious why do we need to divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. Well, if you have noticed, if we multiply its base and height only, we are like getting an area of a square. But that's not the case here because what we want is the area of the triangle only. And if you will try to check the area of the square from multiplying the base and height of the triangle, you will notice that it has two triangles. And since we only want that one triangle, that is why we divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half as both are the same thing. So that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot about this topic. Again, please don't forget all the formulas as those are very useful. Also, you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel. Once again, this is Earth Pen. Learning has never been this easy for anyone, anywhere. Have a nice day.